All right, agents, let's check out another weekly reset. Starting off at the White House, let's go and see what they've got. And starting off with the White House, uh, the first item we've got is a pyromaniac. Now listen, you know me, I don't like to waste time looking at the stuff that uh, don't have any value to you. Um, so I can tell you right now, going through the White House, there really isn't anything special. You could get that pyromaniac if you wanted to. It's not really great, um, but it, it rarely drops. Uh, looking here, we've got some mods that you could easily roll better ones. Let's go and check out the clan vendor. Now, I can let you know ahead of time that the clan vendor actually does have some uh, gear that you might want. If you are raiding, you will need these for your project. Um, Take a look and see. Starting off here, we've got an Eclipse Protocol chess piece. If you've been farming, go ahead and grab that. Of course, with all the classified gear or the green gear, it is always easy to roll. So you get one tier uh, on this and then roll over what uh, attribute you want. Future initiative knee pads. If you are needing the material, um, then go ahead and grab this. Or if you need it to complete your project for the raid, uh, go ahead and grab that. Other than that, there really isn't anything here. We've got the hardwired with da damn near maxed out repair. Uh, makes no sense on this build. And then nothing else. All right, here at the campus settlement, the first item we've got is the commando. And I can tell you also again, at the campus settlement, there really isn't anything that is great. Uh, that commando has got 12 on the marksman, but then everything else is low. Um, and I'll be honest, I don't really like playing with this gun, so, uh, you know, this gun, the SVD, uh, has kind of diminished since uh, the last title update. Um, and then since we've taken a look here, you can see there isn't anything with uh, any really great rolls, uh, rainbow rolls here, all mix and match, mods that we really don't care about once again nothing new let's go ahead and take a look at the theater now at the theater settlement let's check out this vendor artisan tool or the artist tool uh, good weapon damage but then all the other rolls are actually pretty poor um, you could buy this uh, and you've got crit damage on it so you would reroll that stability roll um, to whatever you wanted and then just taking a look here again, um, the Walker and Harris you could work with if you wanted that armor regen. Again, not the greatest rolls we're finding. Uh, maxed out weapon damage on a Petrov, but then again, everything else is bad. So even if you wanted to re-roll, say, that middle roll, uh, the crit damage is terrible. So I would not recommend to buy. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the DZ West vendor. And the first item is a Celebre, not greatly rolled. So let's go ahead and look at this KSG shotgun. Um, not greatly rolled either. MK17 continuing with the bad rolls. Negotiator here with 10% weapon damage and 4.4 crit chance. Um, you could probably re-roll one of these, but it isn't really that uh, great in rolls eclipse protocol knee pads easy to uh re-roll but you could farm these out in the open world um the walker and harris uh gloves aren't actually that bad they're not great but they're not bad so you've got 12.5 weapon damage on here some headshot damage on here and then you could roll like say crit damage um so yeah you can mess with these or you could farm in the open world they're not the greatest but they're not the worst Seska knee pads, not great either. So it's going to be a pretty disappointing week for the Vintners. I can tell you that up front. But let's go ahead and check, uh, take a look at this DZ South uh, vendor. All right, in the DZ South, the first item we have is the Mozambique Special. Uh, this is actually a great pistol. The rolls on this isn't that great. Uh, slightly better than uh, half. Um, 
but if you do like perfect bread basket, it is a good pistol to have. The first time you see this is in the Kajika mission, uh, the first time you do it. AKM. Now this AKM, AKM, by the way, has gotten the buff. It's got a huge buff in the game. It was like 23.9% or 23.8% uh, in the TU-10 update. So this gun does kick. Um, I would reroll that health damage or even change reformation on it, depending on what you like. I don't use that talent myself too much. Um, but if you do, uh, this is also a great gun. Tip of the spear actually here is not bad. 14.2. Actually, it's great, especially considering that it's coming from a vendor. 14.2 on the weapon damage. Reroll whatever you want on the attribute. And then the True Patriot, not that great. A little bit better than half rolls. 120k in armor. Wyvern wear with Vigilance. So, hey, if you wanted to do some kind of crit uh, skill build, there you go. Um, Vigilance is always a great uh, great skill, to, uh, talent to have, actually. Because you could just sit and cover and throw whatever the hell you have have uh, at an uh, enemy, even if you're using skill. And that's 25% uh, weapon damage. Fenris with the maxed out hazard protection. Um, I haven't used Fenris since uh, TU-8. Um, just because it's not giving you uh, what you need. Really right now, crit damage is king. Um, crit chance is king. Weapon damage really doesn't play that much uh, you know, in, in your builds as much as it used to do prior to TU-8. Uh, but uh, here you go with max hazard protection if you needed max hazard protection on your build. Mods are not great either. Let's go ahead and check out DZ uh, East. Or... Alright, the DZ East with Vendor. The first item up is the White Death with 11% uh, Marksman damage now, not the greatest uh, damage on this, but hey, it's not bad, especially compared to what we've seen thus far this week. You could go ahead and re-roll either the Marksman or the Swap Speed. Um, second item, SRS, co Covert, just better than half, not a great gun. And it's going to continue like this for a while, but what we do want to look at is this future initiative here. If you are, again, in the raid and you are looking for items... Um, you're going to want to either get this for either the for either the um, materials or you're going to want this to donate. So just keep that in mind. If you've been fortunate enough to finish the last boss, there's going to be a project for that. And you'll want uh, both Foundry and Future Initiative uh, materials. And you'll also want uh, all the parts. So chest piece, backpack, masks, gloves, all of that. So if you can get your chance, uh, get a chance to get a hold of them, uh, get doubles. There you go. Ongoing directive, no good. <laughs> Maxed out status effect on a mirror combi mask. So I don't know how you'd want to play this, uh, being that the mirror combi is actually uh, geared towards uh, repair. That's what most people use it for. Um, but if you need this uh, status effect for your build, go ahead and get that. <laughs> Near maxed out health on a holster. You should have this by now, but if you're new to the game, go ahead and pick that up and uh, store that in your library. And then again, the mods aren't great here. So that leaves us with just the uh, New York to go to. Let's go ahead and check on New York, fellas. All right, here in New York, let's go ahead and check out the two vendors we've got here. And of course, you know in New York, I've said it before, there are no named items in New York. Um, starting off with this AUG A3 Para XS, um, slightly better than half rolls. Um, and as I said, it's going to be a disappointing week at the vendors, guys. Um, Super 90, 11% uh, weapon damage, 9% damage to armor, 7% damage to cover if you want one. I think you'd probably find a better one uh, just farming. And again, it's going to be like this for all the items. Rainbow Bright uh, Gilligard backpack with combined arms. Sokolov knee pads. Now, hey, if you're doing your project, you may need the Sokolov knee pads. Again, when I refer to the projects, I'm referring to the projects that you're going to get from the raid. Uh, Wyvern uh, holster. Actually, not bad because you've got a good amount of skill haste here. You could make this work. Roll on your skill damage. Or status effect or whatever it is you're using that for 
Let's go check out the other vendor. All right, again, the other vendor here with uh, is starting with an enhanced PP19. Um, better than half rolls. Fire rate on here with spiked. Um, see, I'd want to change that talent, so I wouldn't have any time to change anything else. Um, RPK, again, better, just slightly better than half. Like I said, nothing here is going to be good. They're going to be disappointing at best. Overlord chess piece. Again, if you're doing that raid project, you're going to want an overlord chess piece, so keep that in mind. You could just buy that. Uh, Araldi gloves, not great. And then again, China Light mask. With some mods. So, all in all, it's been a disappointing week for the vendors, but uh, that's how the cookie crumbles, fellas.